Good morning, happy Tuesday. As usual, I'm heading to campus and today I have my Designing with Emerging Materials class and I think we're gonna be doing some pretty cool stuff today. So yeah, let's go. After finishing up our lecture portion of the class, we headed over to the lab to check out our little mushroom buddies. Last week, you saw me fill my duck-shaped mold with mushroom substrate, and today we released our creations from their molds. My little duck is made up of two pieces that need to be joined together, so I covered each half in a little bit of flour to encourage the mushroom to grow and to merge the two halves to make a whole 3D ducky. I just finished up with my class. I met with one of my classmates to work on a presentation group project and now I am at the light tables and I'm gonna start getting everything ready so I can start painting my tablecloth design. I worked on this project a lot this weekend and pretty much what I came up with was my final layout with some color placements and then the black and white version which I'm now gonna use to trace onto my watercolor paper. This is a lot to trace. I'm probably gonna be here a while, so let's just get through it. <laughs> That was a lot and I'm definitely really tired and excited to head home. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I have a really, really packed day today. So I got myself some breakfast and coffee just to like try to hold myself over. And I'm heading over to my applied surface design class where I'm gonna hopefully start painting that giant thing that you saw me trace yesterday. So wish me luck. <laughs> Before starting on my official painting, I traced a small section of my design onto some scrap paper so I can do a super quick test just to make sure everything was looking good. And once that was done and I was happy with how things were going, I started on my official one. I painted in all the sections featuring the color orange, just because it was the least used color in my painting and I figured I could at least finish it by the end of the class period. Then I went to my jacquard class where I continued to develop my kelp themed weaving collection. In last week's video, I showed you a detailed description of how this whole process works and I created one of my six structure designs. This week, the goal was to use the exact same artwork but to totally change up the weave structures to give the design a totally different look, which was a really fun challenge. I just got out of my jacquard class and honestly I am enjoying that class so much and I kind of knew I would like going into it so just having that validated has been just like really exciting. I think it's just a really fun blend of both like creativity and like motif drawing and just like expressive design plus the technical kind of puzzle solving that comes with weaving and I think that's just like perfectly my happy place. I'm just really enjoying it. The only thing that's been a little bit hard is just dealing with our computer program because it's the kind of program where things just don't necessarily work super fluidly. So you'll be like working really hard, adding a bunch of details to something and then it'll just suddenly crash and all your work's gone. <laughs> and that can be really hard when you're super in the moment and you just forget to save, which it happens, you know? So I've just been working on like being patient, saving my stuff more, being more careful and more slow, which overall is probably a good thing. <laughs> Anyway, I have a little bit of work to do and then I'm just gonna go to bed. So 
I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Thursday. I am on my way to my home textiles lecture class, which I'm forgetting the name of what that is at the moment. And in class today, we just have our presentations, which is all about that like little comparative analysis we did on different products from different stores. So my friends and I, we went to Bergdorf Goodman in anthropology and we compared decorative pillows, kind of just like their quality, their production, where they were made, the cost, etc. It's pretty straightforward. So yeah, after presenting that, I pretty much just have to spend all day painting. I'm gonna try to get as much of this tablecloth design done as possible. And yeah, hoping for the best there. So let's head to campus. class, I headed down the broken escalators to the computer lab in the basement so I could continue working on my digital knit designs. My goal for today was to finish one of my two knitwear collections, so first I had to design one more structure. Then I spent the evening working out my colors and I recolored my three designs so that I had three distinct colorways. I'm tired. <laughs> it's like 10 30 and I'm finally on my way home. I spent pretty much all day today working non-stop with pretty much no breaks so I'm definitely feeling the effects of that and I really need to go to bed so I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning happy Friday I'm heading to campus and today I have pretty much just my jacquard class in the morning and today's goal is to finish up everything I need for next week's critique so let's do this.
hello again. I just finished up in weaving and I actually got pretty much the bulk of my project done. So that feels really, really good. I'm really happy about that. Now I just have some errands to run and some things to do and some appointments to go to. So it's gonna be kind of like a, a little busy day. And then we're heading straight into the weekend where I have a lot more stuff to finish. Like that painting I started earlier. So I'll show you anything exciting that happens over the next couple days. Happy Saturday. Today is my designated painting day and I'm hoping to get as much of my tablecloth painting done as possible. I'd really ultimately like to finish it, but it is a lot of painting, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> this is my progress so far. As I mentioned earlier, I've just been going color by color, so that kind of helps me feel like I'm making progress so I know how many colors I have left and how much I have to do. So I just finished the lightest green sections and I think now I'm gonna move on to these darker green which is pretty much just a less diluted version of this paint. So let's get to it. so much for joining me on my textile school adventures this week. If you want to stick around and see how all of my projects turn out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye!